Swimming is a unique sport because you have to be pretty symmetrical, and if things aren't moving symmetrically in the water, then something else has to compensate. If we can teach swimmers how to use their core most effectively, it's going to decrease their risk of injury. Ninety percent of swimmers have shoulder pain at one point or another, and we know that pain is your body's way of telling you that something is wrong. That's much better at having a flat shoulder. We think it's really important to see swimmers in the water to make sure they're moving correctly. With freestyle and backstroke, we want your body to kind of move in like a long axis. And then in butterfly and breaststroke, you do more of an undulation motion. And again, you need your core muscles to do that. Keep your hands at your side. Really work on getting the endurance of those muscles built back up. Number one is that usually makes them faster. But also, because you're more efficient in the water, you're putting less strain through your shoulders. One of the biggest things that has to happen is that if we're going to change your stroke, we want to make sure that you are spending a lot of time and energy um, focusing on reinforcing those movement patterns and we always tell children that it's going to take a couple weeks for their stroke to be kind of the new normal. So you feel those muscles working? That's what I want it to feel like in the pool. I think I want parents to know that they have to pay attention to how their son or daughter is swimming, especially teenagers because their shoulders hurting they don't even tell anybody until it's been hurting so bad that they have to get out of practice and stop. So if you've had pain for a week or two it's probably time to get somebody involved to evaluate the cause of that pain before it gets so bad that you lose the rest of your season.